mirror, see the reflection. Ain't nobody quite like me. See, I'm perfection. Unique vibe, can you duplicate? Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this glowing outline logo reveal animation in After Effects. Now it's very easy to create and you can make it procedurally. That means you can change the logo or text whatever you want and you don't have to apply any animation. And you can also save it as a preset so you don't have to repeat this step. You can just apply a simple effect and everything will be done. So let me show you how to do that. Alright, so right from in After Effects and let me show you how easily you can use this as a preset. So here you can see we have this logo composition which has this just simple Apple logo and it's completely transparent. Now I have saved the effect as a preset. So if I search for glow outline and if I drag it onto this, you can see that it will apply all the effects. I don't have to do anything. So if I press play, you can see that all the animations are already applied, the glow and everything. And we have our logo reveal like that. So this is a very simple way in which you can like create this animation and save it as a preset. Now this preset download link is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it and you can also download the project files as well. And if you are not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's see how to make this from scratch. Now in order to create this animation, we basically need a logo. So I'm going to use this Apple logo, which has just this transparent background like that. Just import that in a composition and then import that composition into a new one like this. So after that, we can start applying some effects. So first I'm going to search for fill. Let's drag it onto this and I'm going to quickly change its color to black. Now reason why we are doing it because we don't want to see the inside we only want to see the outline edges and in case you are using any background then you can change the mode to add so that it will get rid of this black area and it will only show you the outline. Now in order to get the outline what we can do is we can apply another effect called CC light sweep and let's drag it onto this and first thing we can change the sweep intensity to zero because we only want the edge intensity now i'm going to move the center to the center as well which is 960 by 540 and you can see we have this very nice outline we can increase its edge and let's increase its intensity as well now you can see we have this very nice outline and we can animate it using this direction property so for now i'm going to set this to zero and maybe look something like that so here we have one edge now in the same way you can add multiple edges so all we have to do is just simply select this press ctrl d to duplicate this now we can see we have one more edge and we can change its angle so let's place it somewhere around here and we can also add some colors to it so let's just make it a little bit purple or pink like that let's add one more so i'm going to place this one to this angle now it's completely up to you can have like as many lines you want and this one we can make it like orange sort of thing perfect now i'm going to use only three colors but again it's completely up to you can have like as many colors you want so first we are going to animate it so we are going to make use of the direction property so let's add keyframe for that let's add keyframe for all of these now we can press u and let's go to somewhere around five seconds and i'm going to set this to two and this to zero as well this to again two and this to zero so that all of these lines will come at one point like that so now you can see all of these will start animating and at this point they will meet like that now we can select all of them press f9 to ease them and we can do one more thing we can like make it look like this now if your graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph perfect so here we have this now there are a couple of things that we can play around first let's apply the glow so let's start by adding a glow effect let's drag it onto this and we are going to change a couple of the properties so first i'm going to increase the radius so let's set this to something like 50 and i'm going to set this to 1.3 threshold we can lower it down so let's set this to 24 perfect now we can select this press ctrl d we are going to basically stack multiple glows to give it a really nice look and this one we can set this to 165 so that we have like little bit glow that's outside and this one we can set this to 480 or 500 whatever you want 
and let's do one more and this one we can make it like 1000 so that it's very bright now here you can see we have added this very nice glow and it is looking perfect now at this point we want this brightness to like increase so let me just quickly close up the glows because we are done with that and in order to increase the brightness what we can do is we can go inside light sweep and we can play around with the sweep width so if i add a keyframe now we can press cu so here we have this keyframe now let's move a little bit ahead somewhere around here we can increase the width like that let's do one more thing at this point we can change the angle a little bit for just this top part like this and at this point you can see we have increased the width so that it will have more outline perfect now in the beginning we don't want to see these so for that we can again add the width keyframe so let's go and let's add width for all of them let's press u and let's add keyframe for width over here as well now we can go to this point and let's move the width values to like this and in the beginning we can set the width to zero for all of them so in the beginning none of them will be visible and they will start appearing now it's up to you you can like move them a little bit away so that they take some time to show up like that perfect so here we have everything now at this point we want to reveal our logo as well so for that we can do one more thing we can apply a cc composite effect so let's search for cc composite and let's drag it onto this now this effect will enable our logo to come up so for that we can add a keyframe for opacity let's press u let's move it to the beginning and in the beginning we can set the to zero and let's go somewhere around here and let's set this to 100 now at this point we don't want any kind of glow in the background so for that we can play around with the width as well and for now let's go to this point and at here we can set the width to zero for all of them first let's add width keyframe and somewhere around here we can set the width to zero like that so it will get rid of any kind of glow now we want this power point at this one to be extremely bright so for that we can add a keyframe for the intensity as well so let's add keyframe let's press u and let's just increase it up something like that it's completely up to you however you want so if i press play maybe we can have this come up little later like that so we are pretty much done with this now if you want to play around there are a couple of things that you can do you can see we have this sweep intensity so if i increase this up you can see it will have this very bright outline and if i increase it at this point so if i increase it up you can see it will create this very nice highlight you don't want to overdo it and now you can see it will have this very nice outline so you can have this as well if you want but we are going to use it to create a bright highlight spot so for that let's add a keyframe for sweep intensity and set this to zero and let's go to this point and i'm going to increase it a little bit just so that we have this glow maybe not this much and at this one we can set this back to zero so that we have this glow and then our logo will reveal perfect so we are pretty much done with this now last thing that we can do is we can have a scaling animation so let's add a scale let's press u in the beginning we can leave the scale to this point and somewhere around here we can just lower it down a little bit not much now if i press play you can see we have this very nice glowing outline and we have our final logo reveal just like that so this is how you can create this and the best thing is that this is completely procedural so if you change want to change the logo then you can easily do that here i have this nike logo and if i drag it over here let's just scale this down and let's apply fill effect so whatever logo you have will appear at the end so we can make it like white 
perfect so if i go back and let's go to the very beginning now if i press play you can see that all the animations are already applied we don't have to do anything and here we have our final logo reveal just like that so you can also use text as well now if i go back and let's press play here you can see we have the animation applied to the text as well perfect now if you want to save this as a preset what you can do is you can select this and you can select all of these effects that we have applied on to this then after that go to animation and click on save as animation preset then you can pick wherever you want to save this and after that you can give it whatever name you want and you can save it into this directory location so this is mine you can go to your you can go to your system username documents adobe after effects and then you can save it inside the user preset folder and after that you can just simply go to this right click and refresh list and it will refresh it then you can search for whatever name you have saved it and it will come up so if you're using mac then you can just simply google where you want to where you have to save the preset in order to work in after effects so this is how you can create this again project files and this preset is available on my patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates like these which are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one